Hi, welcome to G News. Now, um, there's a notification of temporary travel restrictions applicable to land ports of entry and ferries. It's a notice of action given due to the outbreak and continued transmission and spread of COVID-19 within the United States and globally. The secretary has determined that the risk of continued transmission and spread of COVID-19 between the United States and Mexico possess an ongoing specific threat to human life or national interest. Now, U.S. and Canadian office officials sorry, have mutually determined that non-essential travel between the United States and Mexico possess additional risk of transmission and spread of COVID-19. In places, the populace of both nations at increased risk of con contracting COVID-19. Moreover, given the sustained human-to-human -human transmission of the virus, this is important because returning to previous levels of travel between the na two nations places the personal staffing land ports of entry between the United States and Mexico, as well as the individuals traveling through these ports of entry at an increased risk of exposure to COVID-19. According to authorities, it has been determined that land ports of entry along the United States and Mexico border will continue to suspend normal operations and will only allow processing for entry into the United States of those travelers engaged in what we call essential travel. Now, you have to keep in mind that this temporary alteration in land ports of entry should not interrupt legitimate trade between the two nations or disrupt any critical supply chains that ensure food, uh, fuel, medicine, and other critical materials reached that actually will reach individuals on both sides of the border. Now, all terminals along the United States and the Mexico border shall be limited to essential travel, which includes, but it's not limited to, U.S. citizens and lawful permanent residents returning to the United States individuals traveling for medical purposes. It's an example to receive medical treatment in the United States. Individuals traveling to attend educational institutions. Uh, other individuals traveling to work in the United States. As an example, we can include individuals working in the farming or agriculture industry who must travel between the United States and Mexico in furthers of such work. Individuals traveling for emergency response in public health purposes. Another example is government officials or emergency responders entering the United States to support federal, state, local, tribal, or territorial government efforts to respond to COVID-19 or other emergencies. Individuals engaged in lawful cross-border. Another example is truck drivers, supporting the movement of cargo between the United States and Mexico. Individuals engaged in official government travel or diplomatic travel, members of the U.S. Armed Forces and the spouses and children of members of the U.S. Armed Forces as well, returning to the United States, and individuals engaged in military-related travel operations. Now, this is the most important part that we have to keep in mind as well. The following travel does not fall within the definition of essential travel for purposes of this notification. Individuals traveling for tourism purposes, like sightseeing, recreation, gambling, or attending cultural events. At this time, this notification does not apply to air, freight rail, or sea travel between the United States and Mexico, but does apply to passenger rail, passenger ferry travel, and passenger boat travel between the United States and Mexico. Now, these restrictions are temporary in nation and shall remain in effect until 11:59 um, on June 22nd of 2020. This notification may be amended or resigned prior to that time based on circumstances associated with a specific threat. Now, the Commissioner of the U.S. Customs and Border Protection is hereby directed to prepare and distribute appropriate guidance to CBP personnel on the continued implementation of the temporary measures set forth in this notification. This CBP Commissioner may determine that other forms of travel, 
such as trouble in furtherance of economic stability or social order, constitute essential trouble under this notification. Further, the CBP commissioner may, um, on an individualized basis and for humanitarian reasons or for other purposes in the national interest, allow the processing of travelers to the United States not engaged in essential travel. The acting of the Secretary of Homeland Security, um, Shad F. Wolf, has reviewed and approved this, doc this notification um, in delegating the authority to electronically sign any notifications. According to Edgar Ramirez from Homeland Security in the U.S. Embassy in Mexico, the pandemic of COVID-19 is still a threat to North America's health. For this reason, the United States and Mexico have decided to extend for a second time the agreement on restrictions at the border. This means that the U.S. government will continue to restrict non-essential travel to slow down the spread of the virus. Mexican and U.S. citizens should avoid border crossing and if it's not essential. Now, for more information, you can visit the CBP website or federalregister.gov. Thank you for watching.